Windows 10, but it looks like Windows Server 2003. So I'm pretty sure you guys heard about Windows Experience, a Windows 10 mod which mimics the look and feel of Windows XP, and I honestly like it. It's got pretty much all the bells and whistles of Windows XP, the programs, themes, wallpapers. Now, a lot of people have suggested me doing a Windows XP recreation myself. My response always is, that already exists, it's called the Windows Experience. But then, one of my viewers suggested transforming Windows 10 into Windows Server. What about Windows 10, but it is Windows Server 2003? That's actually interesting, I might actually take a look at that. There's Windows Experience, but there's no uh, Windows 10 to Server 2003 ISO, uh, so I might try that. Alright, so here we are at the setup. So, pretty sure you guys saw this previously in my other mod, Project Memphis. This uses the Panther 2K pre-installation environment, which, well, mimics the look and feel of the Windows installer, the one you found on previous versions prior to Vista. So yeah, uh, here it is. Now, here it says Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition. And yeah, we're just gonna move on with the setup, you know. Yeah, we're gonna... Um, format this thing and here we are uh, so yeah setup is copying files so I'm just gonna let this uh, do its thing and uh, I'll be right back <laughs> okay so the setup has finished so now we're just gonna press enter here and now on on next boot we should be with the mod we should be at the desktop man this sound never gets dull honestly so here we are at the desktop so as you can guys see we have the classic theme enabled by default just like windows server we also have the blue wallpaper the solid color wallpaper here we've got some icons over here and you can also see that there's no sound no internet icon and actually windows server doesn't have those icons either by default now you can enable the sound icon if you want to actually there's a task that you can enable in order to get this icon on the taskbar here it is as in devolve so you just right click enable run and there you, there you go here's the little icon now it doesn't actually control the volume of the os but i still think it's pretty cool i think it's a pretty cool touch so yeah so here we have the star menu. Now this is actually the classic variant of the star menu. I, I tried looking for the proper XP style star menu with the classic variant, but I wasn't able to find one. So if you guys know where to look for, let me know down below in the comments. So here we have a couple of items. So we have Windows Catalog, Windows Update. We also have some items here. We have Run. We have Help and Support, which for some reason it doesn't work. We have search, settings, we got control panel. So yeah, this is actually how it looks on server 2003. Unlike XP with its categories and everything, this is just a list view of all the control panel items with their description and that's it. That's just how it looks in server 2003. We got some applets here. Now there's, there's some Windows XP applets or, or some Windows XP like applets or Server 2003 applets, whatever. Click on display. Here it opens up a classic variant of the display properties. It looks a bit broken though. Yeah, this can be fits with a wallpaper change though. So I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, now it looks fine, but it's the, the Windows 7 basic theme. Here, here we have a, the Windows Server 2003 screensaver. We also have the marquee screensaver. Server, Server 2003 doesn't have a lot of screensavers. Yeah, we only have these two. And this is just a blank thing. Appearance tab shows nothing. So yeah, this app is a bit broken. There's that. We also have game controllers. We have, we have a Windows 10 modified Windows 10 applet, 
made to look like Server 2003's internet options. Keyboard, mouse, we got power options, speech, the speed, we got the speech properties, applet here, shut up. Store usernames and passwords. We got system with the general tab. Microsoft Server 2003 Enterprise Set 64 Edition Service Pack 1. Yeah, there we go. We also have some programs. So we have Internet Explorer, which is not actually Internet Explorer, it is Mozilla Firefox, as you know. Typical fashion here. We have an iSITS theme about Firefox. Yep, it's got the iSITS branding here as well. Version 6.0.3790.1830. We also have Outlook Express sits. There we go. We also have the Windows Server administrative tools. Now, uh, some of these work, some of these don't. Most of them don't. We got uh, Certification Authority, doesn't work. Cluster Administrator works. Component Services works. Computer management works. There we go. Configure your server. Configure your server wizard doesn't do anything. Just throws an error. Data sources works. Distributed file system doesn't. MMC could not create a snap in. Event viewer works. Just fine. Licensing doesn't local security policy there we go just fine manage your server which opens up a window but it's just blank nothing network load balancing manager performance remote desktops same error here. Rooting and remote access. Same thing. Services. Terminal server licensing. Terminal services configuration. Same thing. Terminal services manager. That one works. We also have some Windows XP programs. We have WordPad. We have Sing Center. We have the classic paint program here. Notepad. Calculator. We also have some Windows system applications. Now, uh, some, of these, some of these work, some of these don't. Backup doesn't work. Character map works. Here we go. Disk cleanup works. Disk defragmenter doesn't. Schedule tasks doesn't. And system information doesn't either. Some Windows Ease of Access programs. Magnifier works. Narrator doesn't. On screen keyboard does. Uh, the server variant apparently gets this variant of the keyboard with uh, the dark background because the XP regular version of the XP one has a blue background. Utility manager doesn't, well, kind of just opens up settings. Entertainment, we have sound recorder. All right, what's up everybody? So this is uh, just some random recording I'm doing on this OS, which appears, appears to be Windows Server 2003. I mean, looks nice. The classic theme looks pretty neat, I guess. We also have volume control. There's Windows Media Player.
Okay, that's enough. Now, before I leave this video here, uh, a typical thing with all of my mods, you can see all the stuff I use on my mods here. Here's a list of all the programs, Windhawk mods and everything, and also some known issues. And with nothing else to add, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, I forgot to show you this. Even with the shutdown event tracker, even though you don't have to type anything, which I guess it's fine.